Satan. But now you had another thing that happened in your life, and that is when the spirit man was born. Can you kind of take me back to that moment? Yeah, so we'll well we'll just let, we'll pick right up at, at you know when I retire at age thirty three I'm re- rehabilitating, I'm um now I am pondering what does life hold next for Nikita Koloff. So now I'm thinking about that. I had a health club mm-hmm. at the time, and you know, but I thought I don't want to do this the rest of my life. You know, be confined to four walls. What what you know, and, and so you know I had diversified into some other business investments, and I'd met this Christian couple and. And so for those who hadn't figured it out yet, you know, I didn't grow up in Russia, just in case you're still wondering, I didn't grow up in Russia, <laughs> just to clarify. And if you did, Minnesota. you have done wonders to your accent, by the way. <laughs> yeah, good, good English tutoring. That's right. Yes. That's right. Yes. And, um, but I also didn't grow up in church, but that's not to say I didn't know the story. What I mean by mm-hmm. that is. What what was re- recently celebrated was the resurrection of Jesus, right? So I knew the story that there's this man, Jesus, who had lived, who had died, was crucified, rose again, lives at the right hand of the Father. I knew the story up here. Right. However, that story never made the 18-inch trip down here, down to my heart. And just knowing it up here, I found out does, doesn't transform or change your life. It may it, it might give you a little more education, but it doesn't doesn't change you, doesn't transform mm-hmm. you. And um, you know, just reminded Romans ten nine it says uh, you know confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that mm-hmm. Jesus is Lord and you will be saved. Well, I called this Christian couple that I'd met through business, and one day randomly they said, "Hey, I'll be in church with you guys. I'll meet you at church on Sunday." And that day, I showed up the day I said I'd be there, and and it was just a div- Mickey. It was just a divine appointment for me. It was just a, it was my it was my day. I I liken it to this. Um, anyone out there has ever put a a puzzle together and you're missing the last piece? You're mm-hmm. like, where where's the la- the puzzle's not complete, right? The portrait's not complete till you find that last piece and put it in. What's well, kind of wow. the illustration of my life? I was successful, world champion, wrestler, sports, all that, but I was unfulfilled. There was something missing. That last piece was missing. And that day I went, it was an aha moment. Uh, An invitation was given at the end of service for anyone who wanted to come forward, surrender their life, surrender their heart to Jesus. And that was like, I've never done that. So I was the first one to the altar, got on my knees, confessed, repented, asked for forgiveness, invited Jesus into my heart the story made the 18 inch trip from my head down to my heart and life mickey has never been the same since it was a genuine real encounter if you want to say a road to damascus encounter so what is nikita koloff doing today in a nutshell since that decision that day i didn't just jump right into ministry by the way there's about a five-year window there where i was discipled Mm -hmm. let that Make note to self the importance of discipleship. Amen. Uh, being discipled. When Lex Luger first got saved, I, I was instrumental in helping disciple him. When Sting first got saved, I was instrumental in helping disciple him. Discipleship is so important. And then in 1998, the Lord uh, really launched Koloff for Christ Ministries. Uh, since that time, uh, I've traveled to all 50 states now. I've been to 30 different countries. Uh, I now have a podcast of my own, a radio show, now a TV show. The radio show is on Truth Radio Network out of Winston-Salem. It's all over the country, but the TV show they can find on YouTube, Facebook. Same theme, the Man Up Show. Lex Luger and I do a camp. We just finished a camp two weeks ago called Man Camp. Mm -hmm. The idea there, Mickey, is to bring men in for five days uh, equip them, empower them through teaching and training, and then deploy them back home to be better godly men, godly husbands, godly fathers. I do a one day conference in local communities called the Man Up Conference. I'm doing, I'll do probably 15 of those this year. Um, and and I, I, I'll just, I got them right here. I'll just flash. So, Nikita, tell the ring of redemption. Look at that. That's my life story. That's inspirational. That's my life story. And uh, newly updated last year. And then this is a fun one. I'm, I'm getting ready to do an online course, wrestling with 
success, developing a championship mentality. Uh, that's two of the three books I've written. I'm working on a fourth book. Never thought I'd do any of this, Mickey. Never thought I'd be a that's book crazy, author, man. a podcaster, radio. Yeah, none of this. It's a, it's the best word to summarize it is surreal. It's surreal what yeah. God has given me the privilege of doing. 